so finally made it to Manly. Oh, let's not get hit by a car, hey? So, I, I doubt it, um, I've just walked past the, our dear friend's house place, uh, she's from short, installed a, um, a couple of new things, I think it's a security light, I think there's some sort of blanketed um, thing over the windows as well, um, she does live in house on her side, um, who knows? So I hope she's okay. But anyway, I don't. I doubt that I'll see it. Oh my! I doubt. So, um, <sighs> poor girl. She's in like the mid forties, and her life's a fucking tra train wreck. But still happens in 2023. The guys grow into pieces of shit, and it's women that have some sort of issue that falls in love with them, and so. There's two people across the road that's walking off his chair, so I just gotta get that on camera. What the fuck? That's a pregnant woman too. They got office chairs. What the fuck? Rolling office chairs on the sidewalk. I was pregnant too. Well, I don't see her down here. So I am hoping to run into her just to see if she's okay. So. I'm not going to walk further. She. Shelly Bates or anything. It's almost Reynolds Street. But no, I, I don't see it at all, so yeah. yeah I'm gonna hitch the course. Oh, okay. Drainage repairs. <laughs> they actually put information up about the sign. <laughs> Don't see her, so. It's really weird doing this part. I know, yeah. Really weird. I still don't see it, but I see. It. I think I might have seen that woman in the trolley before. I swear I've seen that woman in the trolley before. Maybe. Who knows? No, I don't think I've seen... Oh, hang on, yeah. That lady I just spoke to, that I just pointed her out. Fuck, that was a character. Um... This is half a wine, half German woman. Looks Asian, but when you look at her, she's got a very hard German face. 
This was doing the, if you noticed, I don't know how well I got it on the on camera, but had like, um, she had like a trolley and she had food. So she was looking for the camera and the Aboriginal girl. So she didn't know where it was and she's quite old. So she couldn't be fucked walking down. So I asked me to do it, delivered it. And Karen's like fucking doing the junky sleep routine. So, um, did a good deed. I'm proud of myself. I hope no one knocks it off, that fucking pretty. She bought like an apple, pear, nuts, a chocolate bar thing, who knows. But. Anyway, let's go look for Danny, you know? She ain't there, ain't not. Don't think she'll be up there. Anyway, let's head to the wharf. Dallas, she'll be in this pub too. The lady who wanted to give food was around here. Oh, that guy is so drunk. But she was looking for Karen, the Aboriginal girl. The guy over there was so drunk. But anyway, and she was staying in here, and if you look at the outside, it's changed a bit. Renovation, so. Anyway, I don't see Danny in a distance anywhere. So. If I could afford it, I would live around the course, right? But I'll work myself up to be homeless, but, you know. The lady with the trolley, her. She talks for like 10 minutes or something. Fantastic. So, a local street guy came along and spoke, so I just didn't see her. So, yeah, when I. Weird shit, man. I could have could could have could have gave Karen some food and um gave some old lady fucking someone to talk to for a bit. I don't see her around anywhere, but you know. But. Fucking hell, what happens, man? What? That's what it is. My main Joel, that's what he mainly reminds me of. Joel used to come down here all the time, drag me down to get shit faced. That guy started my party life. Him and him only. But, you know, you know. What's going on with that yard? I'm just paying attention to that. Oh. Cigarette smell.
got that yacht too. You got like blue lights on. Bridge people, eh? I wish I had a coffee with this. Oh, I think I, could, I don't know if the audio is getting it, but there's a. I think there's like a group of girls having like a massive party across where the aquarium used to be. I can hear him screaming. It's a party going on. I'll have to check that out. This uh, something is happening across the road. No, let's go. I don't see Danny on the benches, but who knows? Um, I guess I can document manly though. Something is happening. Not exciting, but let's go over and check it out. There's a couple of people smoking the way into it. Oh, that's right, the bikes. I wonder if they're. Yeah, they're still locked up. Fucking hell. The bikes are still there. Right. Okay, so I'm standing next to the aquarium. There's two sets of parties happening. There's like a teenage one and a some dancing club party thing. So it's fucking weird. I don't know. The dancing club. Let's just go luggage too. I need some. The grommet one I probably don't want to go up to. Um, Cause they're <laughs> raging fuck. And I don't want to wig him out. I want to fucking tell him I'm an old man with a beard. Who has a packet of cigarettes, so. So there was, the, the, the grommet one was near the entrance to the waterworks, so it's um, and uh, the middle aged ones with the dancing, that's outside the boathouse, so, anyway, and I can get closer look to the boat with the blue lights, so let's do that. Fucking do that. So I don't, this is a yacht, I don't know. 
what they're doing or why. And I gotta keep my eye out what I walk on. There's planks and shit missing, so. Anyway, hang on. It's that. Oh, you probably can't see. I see. A bit of wood missing. It's nice to see the grommets out and about for once. I've not seen the gatherings of grommets getting shit faced in ages. It's really nice to see. There's a boat here, look. A fucking boat. Alright. Alright. A boat. I don't want to bag him, you know, good for them. I can't dance and I won't even fucking do that. Good looking girls there, but that's not... <laughs> Yeah, that wasn't a fire, that was some chick screaming. False alarm, Gromit's having fun, so... Remember, the Illuminati's real. So... Last night when I was filming, um... So last night when I was filming, um, I ran into that girl outside Coles, uh, the Woolworth side. So I spent I think maybe an hour and a bit with her, just talking, chilling, and kicking it. <coughs> she looked a lot more healthy and a lot more better headspace and stuff. So she's got a new phone and stuff of that nature. So it's um. I got a new number as well, which is good. But um, yeah, which is really nice to say. So I'm a bit lost. I read a book. Anyway, so that's what happened. It seems a bit short, but uh, well, so I've had three coffees. Is it three or two? Yeah, three. So, I'm going to get a fourth one. I know I'm not supposed to be restricted to three to help. I spend so much money. Um, so sometimes I get a bit like it's Tuesday, so I don't, I just didn't think it through. I, um, I am here just in case to see that girl again, right into so I can help her, you know, be a good person. Um, but I'm also here to read books. I'm slowly getting back into it, feeling a lot more better. Yeah, I pulled out the book that I was reading, so... I just finished that one, the last hand, but by... Edward Beer? 
Sounds like a South African marriage, man. So, it was published, but, um... Nineteen eighty-seven. So it was a good role we did. So, um, because I kind of I did I didn't set my alarm last night. Um, and I woke up about ten past seven. Um, this morning, my mom was still at my place. She got this shit from me this morning, so I was still lifting up a family. But it's my own fault. I'm still struggling to get out of bed before seven. Um, even though last night I kind of went to bed at a decent time. Um, maybe it's because I'm getting older. So, I walked back down to Coles after I finished. I'd probably read three chapters. I should have put another book in my bag, but I didn't. Um, and I'm going to try to get in the habit of trying to prepare myself before I go to bed. So when I wake up, it's touch and go. Um, which is good. You know, hopefully I can start reading the new book tomorrow. Um, So, oh fucking hell, so, hey, oh yeah, so I walked down to Gold Spot, the, the paper, the Sydney Morning Herald, so, um, which is good, read the paper, and then had another cigarette, <coughs> now I had a bit of time on my hands, so, so I thought I'd pull my camera out and start filming myself again, and that just sounds cool. I can see like a group of swimmers in the page. Fuck, that's what. Oh, that's right. It's like. Down here at Manly, there's like two schools of art swimmers. They. Shelley to Manly or Queenscliff to Manly. So it's. Anyway, let's see what happens. So. I'm fucking tired. But. I have to go on a push by, but... So hopefully I can start picking up my reading again. That's not enough to struggle to get back into, like, the yard side. Like I said during the vlog, um, for years and years in recovery, every Sunday was just my day just to be in bed reading books or watching movies and stuff, so... I feel really guilty. Um, part of the healing process that I kind of had to do was, um, I see myself busy and active, always doing something. Um, I struggled putting this, when the rock bottom happened for me, I was really, really struggled to sit still and look after myself. And, um, I guess that's it. It's, um, uh, what to say, um, I feel a bit about my own recovery, but all of it's good, but when shit happens and pain's felt, it amplifies a lot more. So maybe that's a, a reflection on the rest of my recovery, but that's just me. So, I don't know, it's just a thought. So I don't know if anyone else can relate to that, but... Oh, if it makes sense. Here's the third, that's a cooker too. Wow. Ugh, wow. So I'm here till fucking 4 o'clock today, so... They'll probably end up asking me to do another shift this week, but who knows. So far, I haven't seen it today. Um, so, so she's telling me about the court case and stuff of that nature. Like domestic violence, you fuckwits, man. Imagine that, being that, just having that much of a shitty life, getting hurt that much, you turn into a woman basher. So, fucking can't say. No, well, that guy's done for the rest of his life, probably. So, was it? June 19th, that's when his court hearing, it's democracy too, like, by the way guys, so, it's also a way to kind of keep that balance stuff where, 
I'm sure a lot of people would want to completely ruin his life and fuck him up. The ways to prevent that happening to uh, that mob rule against porn and that shit. It's really nice, actually. Really nice. So. so. Kind of like being at Moon Valley again at that job. I used to sit around palm trees like this in the park area and smoke cigarettes. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, fuck. Oh, sunglasses. Right. Well, I don't see my mate, um, the boys there, but they know from the rooms, the fellowship at the same. So, and came back, so I had a little wander around. So. Might do that one more time soon and head up to um, Cassie's. I got a free coffee at Cassie, that's what I was going to say. But. I'm actually enjoying this moment just sitting down looking at Shelly. Shelly Beach. But. running just then. He's a good dude. He's good to know. But just to say, I know him all right, man. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, no. So, I don't have any movies to plan. That's what we have to do. Um... Maybe I should think through about what my writing thing is. Because I don't know. I'm still. Should I um, make an effort to write again? So. For now, that is. Because I just haven't done it in a while. Because I had writer's block, so. It's just so what was I going to do? Oh, that's right, walk across the street. Pocket pizza, bravo, fucking heaven. Loud music. And a couple of customers, I want to walk across the road. There's a dumpster there. <coughs> so, obviously, you know, I. Because of, um. It's been ages since I sat down and actually tried to write properly. I'm out and about. Um, look at that. How's that for a fucking plan? It's pretty cool. I wonder what it's called. Look at that. I wonder what plant. If you know what plant that is, let me know. It's so cool. I know it seems kind of fucking weird, but. Um, I was going to say, um, oh yeah, the writing stuff, so, a slow burn into it, so, that's all I'm going to do, you know, but, I'm 
can't see spot. But I like the fucking sleeve. Is that a tent there or what? But. But, you know, they don't want to weak people out, though. You know, as long as you're safe, I'm just pop bump into it again. The surf's actually pretty loud, so... Look at that. The bag's under my eyes, but... I had to walk somewhere else. I felt fucking weird. But... Remember guys, the Illuminati's real, so... I thought I saw, um... Dave, the old... Oh. Um... I just thought I saw Dave, the old chef. Um, he's a gay guy, a chef, a character. But I saw, I thought I saw him like walking with his boyfriend. His buddy was some other dude. It ended up being some Asian dude. So, and I actually saw him um, a bit up that way, um, sitting down in the trees, waving. I wish I could have known him better, but he had really weird vibes, something about his vibes, just difficult, but who knows, I don't know his story and I got to know him through, I, the little I know him through work, so, who knows, uh, okay, uh, but, oh weird. But, you know, it was <laughs> some, some other gay guys I saw, but not him. Somewhat true, right? I don't know if I said this as a YouTube genre, but I reckon the cool genre is, it's probably existing anyway, but it's to... Film yourself walking around somewhere and pit fighting rub like random shit in somewhere. And show them what you collected. Oh, see? the at that. What the fuck? See, hang on. I was about to say, if you've got a YouTube channel or genre, it probably does exist, is to walk around an area or whatever and try to find random stuff that people have left you. And as I was speaking, I just found a fishing water here. Hang on. This. It looks broken, I think. But I just found this here. Like. Fucking hell. Look at that. I found a fishing rod. Look at a little lightsaber. It looks pretty good. So I don't know what that is. I like it all. Oh, look at it extends. Hang on. Extends too. Just found a fish. So I just found a fish and. The thing is, if I leave it here, it's, I'm just going to pinch it though, that's the thing, or take it, whatever. Right. So, I wonder if Karen wants it though. Just found a fishing rod. Look at that, that's a fluke, so, like I said too, just before, have a YouTube genre of, um, Finding red, like random stuff. Look at that. Phew. So, 
was cool. I wonder what to do with this. That's like just breaking that I'll be talking about something and it happened just then in there. See, I'm right next to the volleyball court, as you can tell by the net. There, net there. That would be like a squad, shirts, balls, anything. But fucking hell, man. Look at that, man. Woo! Find. I wonder what I should do with it though. Can I put him in somebody's yard or what? So. Oh, I'm gonna walk. Pretty, pretty cool. Who's the king of the hill? It's me! I wonder what I should do with it though. Fuck it, I'm gonna ask, I'm gonna go to the toilet first. Then ask, give, see if Karen's awake. <coughs> see if she wants it, I can give it to somebody she knows. Fucking hell, man. Karen's the Aboriginal girl that I know here, that lives down here, but. So, yeah, it's a cool YouTube channel. If you live in a po vibrant area, or whatever area, go looking around and see if you can find things that people have left here, like this fishing rod and clothes, and see what you can do. Oh, and what else you can do? Take it to uh, a pawn shop to see if you can get it too. So you go through like a week of filming yourself looking for things that people left on the beach, at the city areas. And at the end of the week, or at the end of when you've uh, collected something, enough items. Say you collect 10 items, right? Throughout whatever time. You go to a pawn shop and see how much you can pawn it for. That's a YouTube journal, if it hasn't been invented yet. Fucking hell, I'm a genius. But not on the internet, something's probably like that is already invented. I just took a massive shit and I'm walking to see if Karen's alive. That dark figure over there was in the middle of the second building. That's cool, I found a fishing rod. Found a fishing rod. Found a fishing rod because I'm a fisherman. But to be honest, if you live there around here, you find a lot of rubbish. Oh fuck, I don't think she's a wife. Um sorry. She had to fucking leave it there. I don't know, I feel kinda of troll like I'm trolling if I left it there. Oh I've not seen that that American tourist around. I swear there's another like homeless American tourist around. So anyway. So I left it at the glass house for her, which I don't know if it's going to get picked up. This, I don't know if it's a spare shit in the, tucked away in the corner or not, but it looks like there's like a second batch of clothes there though. But, and also that, it, I don't know if he's actually American, but he's wearing Ameri very much American clothes. Last time I saw him, he was rolling up his sleeping bag from here and stuff, so... So, I, look, I don't know if he's actually homeless or not, but... Oh, don't take this the wrong way, but he looks very well kept, so I'll put it like that. 
like, like haircut, shaved, and all that shit. So, it doesn't look like he's got a lot of dirt on him. But, but. When I was a kid, there used to be like heaps of homeless people around here in this specific spot. Oh, I don't know. Oh, no. Nah. I was about to say, I would have been small enough to, to sleep in the bed to wear, but I probably not. I probably could, it would just be really uncomfortable because I'm pretty small. Hence, another small reason why I'm a coward. It's so not intimidating at all. But. But at least I get to check out the Queen's Cliffs head plans and stuff. But ah, it's alright. At least my friend's at home. Like I don't, I'm not, I don't have the urge to walk around. But <coughs> just chill out. Look at the headlands here. Now I better um since I mentioned, it, I'll put it on camera. The headland. It looks better in person, but, but, I like it. Honestly, when I started vlogging a lot at Manly, I, I thought I would just get cracked by now. I needed a break, but, but, I don't know, like, no, not really. But, I wish I started vlogging like years ago when I was a kid. Dude, 20 years ago, Manly was fucking like crazy. Like, early 2000s, like, from the 90s, early 2000s, that's when it started really kind of like calming down, like really becoming safe. But, I think a lot of places like that, that sort of like fringe drinking culture, like really died. Like, like I said, I can remember as a kid, like, this spot, this this house thing will just be full of homeless people by now. Just doing it like the fuck knows what, but they're around but they're in different spots. They're not it, they're, they're not out of the open as they once were. I'll put it like that. But but regardless the night lights and stuff. It's actually pretty cool just to sit by the ocean too. Oh, hear the, the waves, I'll put it like that. Fucking hell. It's Tuesday. Oh yeah, I fucking worked today too. That was fucking painful shit for me. It was one of those days that everything was happening for me. I was so behind. I did... Oh god, it was so... It's... Sometimes chefs can be fucking disorganised and all over the place. No things to it. Trying to get some cleaning done. We got one spot clean, but it, it just took up so much of the time. I was so behind and I couldn't close the shift in a way that it. Oh, just. I swear I probably. I know I forgot to turn some of the oven vents off, but. Um. Probably forget. Just didn't do as good job. And you need that space to do it too. Well, at least I do. Not rush everything and get everything cleaned. But. That place needs to, has its hygiene properly done. It's so much to do. If it's not done daily or regularly, it's just, yeah, it's something like me, it tries to do, keep it to standards and stuff. It's pretty hard, but. Oh, well, like I said, my friend Beth says, sometimes all you are, Darcy, is a good person to somebody. So far, I don't see any weirdos, but... But... Beard's going really well.
Hey, um, my mate Bob from the room, so I, I, I may, a guy that I don't know, um, sent me a message early stuff. I to reply, but I should. He's actually a really good man, and, and that's something I should have good practice is with me. Sponsor. He texted me when I was trying to close this, the cafe today, and I looked and I'm like, I gotta reply to him again. Yeah. Can, when I finished. And what did I do when I finished? I lit up a cigarette and just fucking ran home. Boy, they forgot about it. It's like my thinking's not self centered, it's just I just don't follow through the actions and stuff. But. That's the thing, so. Somebody will be walking past soon. Also, that Tim B Ballard guy, B B Tim Ballard, the Sound of Freedom guy. So I started watching a couple of interviews about him, and fucking human trafficking just comes out from my fucking brain. Fucking hell. Some of that shit's fucking heartbreaking. It happens everywhere, too, apparently. It's disgusting. Dead bondage. That's yeah. Check that out. It's disgusting. This fucking market, human organ markets, and fucking hell, like farms have. Oh shit, that's getting ripped off. So that's what's in this Australian documentary? Oh, I, I don't want to repeat that shit, but digital. Um, so yeah. I'm Fucking feral. I can't even go through like morbid curiosity with that shit too. I don't want that shit on my fucking thing. Remember guys, the algorithm can't read shumanists. So I'm loving this beer too. Which, when people say it's a beer, they're correct. I'm a cool little fast one. cigarette hanged on my phone you know I just needed a moment of myself so I've been here for like know, 20 minutes and stuff I literally I used to do things like this as a kid just sit here and you know, chill out not in this specific spot but something random read a book like I said I, I got along with people it wasn't that like I was picked on or bullied or anything it's just I just didn't connect with people, if that makes sense. I just did random stuff a lot. So, but, look, I, I didn't put up with it, but, you know, of course, like, time to time, I, you know, laughed and just did get out of the paper. But, but, see some dude walking his dog. It's like a small version of a poodle. Dogs are cool. If you're a dog owner, you're cool. And yes, I'm a dog person. Okay, 
tell you what, listen. The religious command is here. <laughs> I can't believe that the, the moon was like orange or something. I thought it was some random fucking thing. Some random fucking show. What? Sit the lights? It's like, a, <coughs> it's like 11 o'clock now. I was trying to decide how to film, but I just film walking. But hopefully, <coughs> hopefully I'll remember to film some stuff before I go to bed. Sort myself out. Illuminati style. But Get out of the house, and yes, I was hoping to kind of walk into that girl. <laughs> Some weird shit look at what's happening at the bath shop. That looked really weird. Let's see. Chips. <laughs> Walking back to my car, so look, but yeah, you can't blame me, I'm a dude.
reckon it is pretty fucking cold too. Why do I do this to myself, eh? It's better be good exercise fucking walking around like this too. I haven't done any sort of meditation in church too. The thing is, I have to... People are people and how I'm fucking blaming God for people's fuck-ups and shit, like... I know the difference between right and wrong, good and bad. Evil and good. You'd be fucking retarded. Like Toki Fong says, if you're poor, maybe you don't deserve to live. Toki Fong. Bobby Lee, so, hilarious dude. Bobby Lee's an AI, so. Okay. Almost a bit to my car, I guess. Oh, Tucky, fuck. Oh. 